The passion comes from the complete creativity that we have in this industry. There's so many different raw materials and different combinations at which those raw materials can be put together. We're constantly evolving beer styles, coming up with new beer styles. Craft beer literally kind of has bastardized <laughs> uh, what, what, what brewing is all about, and it's great. As the company has grown and matured, it's amazing to see where it was to where it's become now. You build your, your perfect brew house, and then all of a sudden you, you can't make enough beer. So you increase your fermentation capacity, then you have to increase your cellar capacity. Well now you can brew it, you can cellar it, but you can't package it fast enough or efficient enough. So now you then need to increase uh, your, your packaging efficiencies, uh, your racking line efficiencies, speeds, size. Then you start that kind of cycle back over again. There was quite a bit going on as far as advancing and changing. The decision to, to go to a robotic method for depalletizing was kind of driven primarily by safety. The types of jobs that were being done were very repetitive motion. We had had multiple injuries and the company was very concerned that we would not want to have more injuries with the personnel working here. The secondary part of that was speed. We were limited by speed by the manual method. So we opted to take a look at a robotic method to actually move the cases off the line and place them onto conveyors. While the automation task here at Widmer Brothers was relatively straightforward in concept, what was challenging for the automation integrator was primarily the fact that we're in very unique and tight space constraints. The robot system was custom designed and programmed to be able to fit into this space, and the robot actually moves in and out and around the joists to perform this task. And the robot will pick all 12 boxes with, with a, a custom vacuum gripper that pulls a huge vacuum to, to latch onto the boxes and placing it onto uh, a custom conveyor that will then take the layer and singulate and separate and orient the boxes for the, for the bottling line. When you see the brewery really humming along like it's supposed to, it's really impressive when you think of all the different moving pieces and individuals that have to all be on the same page. When we talk about automation, in some circles within the craft beer world, it's, it's almost a, a taboo word, which to, to me is, is kind of baffling because we don't have to have operators solely focusing on one specific task. So therefore that operator has the ability to focus on other nuances of the job, learn more about the beer. When I hear automation, I think consistency. When you start to introduce the technology in the right fashion, you get consistent product and you, you get a very well-made beer. That Widmer Hefeweizen is always going to be nice and golden and yellow and yeasty and have citrus, uh, citrus aromas behind it. It's perfect. <laughs>